Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this video we're on this one litre VW Polo. The, this one litre is common in the Audi CS Quadra VW in the VAG group. Um, if you've got the engine management light on, if the car's going into limp mode, if it's losing power, you're not getting enough power, in this sort of sense, and the engine management light's on, and you have this code here, P2564100, table charger, boost control position sensor, circuit low. So, this goes back to a few things on this engine. Now, I'm not going to say go buy a table for it straight away. No, we have to eliminate things one by one. Now, I'm going to advise you on what's best and what to do. Our advice would be, <clears throat> this comes back as, by looks of it, the table actuator. So, I'll show, I'll show you where it's located. It's behind the engine here. It's this black box here. It's this here. That one there. Um, it's really easy to work on because you've got a lot of room since it's a small engine and there is a little um, so if you look at this this here is where it controls the table the valves in there sometimes it'll be the valve in there that's probably I don't know clogged up I don't know it's knackered or it's actually the table actuator that's not functioning as it should be so it may be an intermittent fault electronically where it doesn't push this lever backwards and forward it's common they do pack in not only on this on BMs and Mercs so it's a common issue so my recommendation would be check the wiring see if there is you know feed going to it see if there, the, there's power going to the module as in the table actuator there if there is uh, then that means the, the you know table actuator is faulty so it's a, it is a plug and play if you ask me it's really easy you get them on ebay for a, a few oh, i'd say what, what 80 quid 100 quid depending on but i would recommend oem rather than aftermarket get it put the new one on and drive it that should cure it if not then <laughs> the other options are start going through the pipe and see if there is no leak um smoke test they obviously do that before you start changing that as well smoke test it and if not then it's a terrible that's failed guys